Guys, we got the Camp Zero Part 2. And with the Part 2, we got some cards. Now, starting off right away, EA, you really could not get the text right on this, like, set. I mean, on this pack. 88 overall, <clears throat> Chapter 2 player. It's Camp Zero 2 player. Or 91 no space OVR bounty account Kips Zero 2 player. I don't know. It's just kind of funny to me. They just didn't get it right when it comes to the top text. It's not a big point, a big deal, but I like to make fun of them. Alright, so we're gonna go with this obviously for the bounty account player because we're trying to make our team better. The 88 would be nice, but it would give us a little bit of coins and not give us really that much of an upgrade. <laughs> Bryce Hall, okay, Dean, we got Brian Brees, Luke Shoemaker, Drew Tranquil, Orlando Brown, Dalvin Cook, and Chris Lindstrom. Hmm, okay, interesting. Um, now the cool thing about this is we could upgrade a position and then sell that said card we have that's expensive and then get another upgrade technically. But you know what I've been saying the last little bit of time? I can't wait to a left tackle. We get a left tackle for free. And I can replace my current left tackle, Sweet Feet, with that said player. The problem is, kind of like how Orlando Brown plays in real life, he sucks. <sighs> Sorry. I cover a, a full Bengals channel, guys. You have to keep that in mind. I have a whole Bengals channel. And I cover the offensive line play every single week. And <clears throat> for those who might say... You know, oh, come on, man. Atlanta Brown doesn't suck. He's still a great tackle. Let me give you Exhibit A. Hold up. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because, again, like I said, I do cover a whole entire Bengals channel. That's Pat McAfee. <clears throat> All right, so Orlando Brown. Really good versus the Vikings, okay? Look at him versus the Steelers in Week 16. I don't have week 17 up here, the Chiefs game, but he did all four in the Chiefs game, too. Um, 46.6. Orlando Brown, 72. Worst offensive lineman versus the Colts. Um, one of the... Uh, actually, pretty good against the Jags here. Steelers, one of the worst offensive linemen versus the Steelers game. One of the worst offensive linemen versus the Ravens. One of the worst offensive linemen versus the Texans. One of the worst... Actually, the worst offensive linemen versus the 49ers. Um, one of the worst versus the Bills. I mean... <clears throat> Should I go on and on? Like, he's not having a good season for the Bengals, okay? He's not. Uh, awful against the Rams. He had a good performance versus the uh, Ravens, actually. Awful, and I actually need to correct this real fast. These are both reds because anything 60 or below is a red. And he had a red versus the Browns week one, which <clears throat> obviously that wasn't a good game. They're good versus the Titans, surprisingly enough. Didn't really do good at all versus the Cardinals. And the Seahawks game, he was actually one of the best. So, to the point that I'm going to comment, Orlando Brown isn't bad. He sucks. That's what he is. He's a waste of $60 million. Sorry. My bad. I had a little passionate right there. Um, Back to my point. Yeah, no, I'm not going to go with him, though, because he's not an upgrade over Sweet Feet. He's not. He has less pass block, and he has less run block. He's literally... Just an overall increase and a minus one in both categories. Um, how good is Drew Tranquil? 90 speed. Okay, I like that. He's going to be very much like my other two guys. But the thing is here, we could... Actually, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, okay. Crowder. I was going to say... Do I have Crowder in here? Yeah, so he's going to be very much like my other two players. Uh, Zeppi has 83 zone coverage. Which is actually worse than all three of my other guys. So, yeah, I'm not going with him. So, let's let's start eliminating some guys, okay? We could potentially go with him. How good is Dalvin Cook? By the way, Dalvin Cook actually just signed with the Ravens. So, now he's a Baltimore Raven, ironically enough. Um, we're gonna we're not going Dalvin Cook. We're not going Lando Brown. We're not going uh, Drew Tranquil. How about Luke Shoemaker? How good is he? 90 speed, okay. Not really any run block. But I did talk about wanting to upgrade my tight end position. So potentially him. He's a potential option here. Um, I don't think I want to go Brian Brees. Because I just upgraded my defensive tackles recently. 
and I don't think I need upgrading anymore. Although, no, no, 82 speed. 82 speed's kind of mid. Not going with him. All right, so how good is Dean? Because Dean should be fast, right? 91 speed. Yeah, there we go. So he's a faster version of the other guy. Less zone coverage. Maybe more hit power, but not really anything special either. And then our last guy is Bryce Hall, which we upgraded our secondary last video. And he does have 91 speed, which I really do like. He has 81 zone, though. Man, I swear, whenever they have these man-to-man -man corners archetypes, it's just like, if you see man-to-man, -man, you now know they're not going to have zone coverage at all. Like, not even like he's a maybe a decent one. I know they'd be hybrid if they were, like, good in both categories. But not even, like, a, you know, serviceable in the other category. It's just like, oh, he's a man-to-man -man corner? Yeah, he's going to be nothing in the other corner. All right, how good is, um, he has better pass block than Will Shields. And he has less run block. Alright, man. I think I'm going with Shoemaker. I think Shoemaker is the option here. I, I probably should go with somebody else. But 91 speed at the tight end position for what we have right now would be... Oh, sorry. 90 speed at the tight end position would be our fastest tight end. And he is going to have the best... Ooh, he's not going to have the best run blocking. Man, should I just go... Should I just bite the bullet here and go with uh, Chris Lingstrom? I feel like I should just go with him and then just sell Will Shields. Uh, I'm not going to Lando Brown. I don't I don't care what anyone says. I could be paid a million dollars going to Lando Brown. I'm not going to Lando Brown. Might be recency bias, but I'm not going with him. I think I gotta go Chris. Alright, I'm just gonna do this. Be mainly because this gives us two upgrades. Okay. The only reason I'm doing this is because this gives us two upgrades. This lets us be able to get rid of Will Shields and sell him. And then we can come back and go ahead and upgrade another position because the fact we got rid of Will Shields. He only goes for 65k. Okay, I did not realize how much he went for. Well, that's uh, very disappointing to say the least. All right, you know what? Whatever. 65k. We'll post him up there. We'll get a 91 overall right guard. Um, I do need to saw it. See, the thing is, like, now that you can't buy strategy items, you have to roll the strategy items out of the set. And chances are you're probably not going to get the one you want. Um, which, again, like I said, just freaking sucks, man. We also got Johnny Manziel, and I've been grinding out his objective list, too. So, Johnny Manziel, currently I have met in 89 overall, which right now... How do you get the... This is the helmet sticker, and you need two more helmet stickers. But you can't get the other two yet. You have to wait to get the other two. So right now, this is the max I can get him to. I believe so. Let me check out solo challenges. Okay, not solos. I meant to say um, this pass. So from this pass, you can only get... Yeah, I can't get any more. Well, hold up. Okay. This, yeah. So I can only get the season XP... And I can only get the 91 of all bounty account player pack. How do I get more? Okay, so I get more for... If I... Oh, this is stupid. I have to literally complete a champion set or a hero set in order to get a sticker. So that... Wait, but then I'll be one short. Wait, how can I get my last one? Let me guess. Do I have to play house rules or head-to-head -head or some crap like that? Because I did the solo challenges, and the solos, I could put in all of them. And I didn't get enough stickers, so I, I know I need one. I get one from there. Where do I get the last one from? Is there house rules? There is house rules. And what's the rewards for this? I shouldn't go to field pass. I meant to go to rewards. What are the rewards for house rules? And you get a helmet sticker. Yeah. And you get 91 overall T. Higgins for free. But, yeah, you got to get 50 wins in order to get that. At least it's college overtime. And I freaking love college overtime Madden. Like, that still should be a guarantee every single time to be college overtime. We do have two limited time cards in the game also, guys. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. We have 137,000 coins. Probably going to wait on this uh, to see what we can get next video. I'm going to stack up some more coins. And I'll see you guys in the next one.